Mercy Hospital System, from now on referred to as MHS, is a fully integrated 1,500-bed hospital that is a leader in innovative patient care. It prides itself in being a market leader in providing state-of-the-art treatment using evidence-based techniques. Even so, MHS is cautious and realistic about the new fad du jour. They have decided to implement an EHR to further improve the quality of care they provide to patients and the community. They have carefully researched electronic health record vendors and options and have secured internal champions within all divisions and departments of the health system. The hospital has set an ambitious goal of completing the project in less than 15 months. The project will include configuration and training. Full adoption of the new system by employees is expected to take approximately three years after the initial configuration and training is completed. However, reconfiguration of the EHR and retraining of staff will be ongoing throughout the organization indefinitely. MHS hopes that the project will lead to improved patient safety and outcomes and improved patient satisfaction. They hope that the system will offer user-friendly solutions which improve workflow and that it will create an effective deployment strategy that includes training, education, and transition support, especially to front-end users. The implementation will begin on June 28, 2007, and is expected to be completed on July 31, 2008. It is expected to take 286 days, which is way below the goal of 15 months. There are seven main tasks. These include patient information management, laboratory, pharmacy, radiology, imaging, nutrition and food service, and clinical information systems. Laboratory and radiology can begin configuration and training at the same time. Patient information management consists of three subtasks, which include enterprise patient index, patient registration, admission discharge and transfer, and patient scheduling. All the subtasks except enterprise master patient index consist of both configuration and training. Patient registration can only begin after the master patient index is completed. As you can see from the table, all the other subtasks require configuration of the previous task to be completed before their own configuration may begin. However, once configuration is completed and training has begun, the next subtask can already begin their own configuration. Additionally, patient scheduling configuration does not depend on admission, discharge, and transfer configuration, and hence both may begin simultaneously. Laboratory consists of three subtasks. These include chemistry, microbiology, and anatomic pathology. All three subtasks have a configuration and training component. Chemistry does not require implementation of any other subtasks. However, laboratory as a whole requires completion of patient information management. Microbiology requires completion of configuration by chemistry, and anatomic pathology requires completion of configuration by microbiology. Laboratory consists of three subtasks. Pharmacy requires completion of laboratory. It includes four subtasks. Radiology does not require implementation by any other departments and is only dependent on completion of patient information management. It can begin implementation on August 24th and will take approximately 70 days to complete. Imaging may begin configuration and training for its two subtasks after radiology has completed implementation. Imaging will only require 11 days to Nutrition and food service is only dependent on the completion of configuration of patient information management. It will take only 16 days to complete. Nutrition and food service. Clinical information systems is by far the most time consuming task. It will take a total of 147 days to complete and will have 10 subtasks within it. Most subtasks will require both configuration and training. However, Clinical Rules Engine and Consults Tracking will not. The other six tasks must be completed before implementation of EHR. Microsoft Project allows us to readjust the timeline if necessary. For example, if Barcode Medication Administration takes 21 days to complete configuration rather than the projected 30 days, this will cut the entire project timeline by 9 days. 
This tool allows managers to plan ahead for any changes to the expected project outline and to readjust schedules and resources accordingly. Microsoft Project allows us to readjust the timeline if necessary. Microsoft Project required some initial time commitment to learn the program and its features. However, once the basics were mastered, the program was very user-friendly. It was a good tool for viewing the full project timeline and, when necessary, for viewing the timeline of each task and subtask. Reforecasting was very easy to do, and a simple change was tracked and reflected by the software in the project timeline and did not require any further manual adjustments from the user. As long as dependency relationships were entered in accurately by the user from the very beginning, the software did a great job of establishing the shortest possible timeline for completing the task and project. The tool is very user-friendly and both group members feel confident in their ability to use the software. They enjoyed the features that the program offers, such as linking dependencies and readjusting the start and end dates. They also enjoyed the ability to be able to see the progress to date, to see the percentage completed to date, and view what has already been completed. The group members look forward to using Microsoft Project in their future endeavors and have even considered using it for large personal projects such as house remodeling. However, it would be nice if Microsoft Project came with Microsoft Office Suite and didn't have to be purchased separately and if it was available for Mac computers. Thank you for your time in viewing our presentation.